Moving on to New York, over 7,000 nurses have seized a strike in protest at harsh work conditions and staffing policies. Striking nurses rallied outside two hospitals in the Bronx and Manhattan. They wave signs of support of hiring more nurses and better pay. The walkouts forced death health centers to move patients and scale back other services. The strike came after authorities failed to reach an agreement with the nurses' representatives. The COVID pandemic has exacerbated nursing shortage in the U.S. Many nurses have left long-standing jobs, higher-paying, short-term assignments. Well, we are joined by our correspondent, Colin Campbell, live from Washington. Colin, tell us more about this uh, strike that is underway in the health sector. Well, the strike was organized by the New York State Nurses Association. This is a group of nurses that have come together that advocate their own interests. And what nurses are saying is that they are stressed out, quite frankly. They are overworked and they are tired. So approximately 7,000 nurses went on strike in New York and they called to the attention for some of the subpar conditions in which they've been forced to work in. What does that include? Well, you have nurses that are caring for several infants at a time when usually it's regulated that when a baby is born, they are paired up with a nurse, meaning one-to-one, -one, very specialized care. Well, now nurses are saying that they have to attend to three to four babies at a time. This could mean administering medication, making sure that they're calmed down, making sure their diapers are changed. And as you can imagine, uh, these nurses are working overtime or working uh, much more than they should be working. And they also say that because of the lack of nurses that some New York area hospitals have failed to hire, uh, they are working even more when it comes to emergency room situations. And that could mean subpar care for patients. Instead of someone coming in and getting attentive care right away, they may be delayed. Or maybe a patient who's already uh, been admitted may have delayed medication coming to them because that nurse is busy attending to someone else. So what they're saying is they need more nurses. They want hospitals in the area to hire more people and to make pay more competitive so more nurses will be attracted to those jobs and that their jobs, the, the nurses who are already there, their jobs will be a bit easier and they can do them with a bit more quality than they are accustomed to in the present time. Thank you very much. That was our correspondent Colin Campbell live from Washington, D.C.